Welcome back guys to day three of the store build. So what we're doing today is we are cutting all the runners for the wall shelving unit. So let's get into that today. Come along with me and let's route these boards and let's get them up and let's make this wall unit. All right, so what we're doing right now is we're putting a quarter round over on both sides, front and back. That is for the runners that's going on the side of the shelves. So we can make basically the same way we would make a, a box, but we are doing it with adjustable shelves. So let's get this done. Sorry about the noise, but the router does get a little loud. Flip it over, let's get the other side. Let's change this router blade out. Now I wish I would have just built or brought the router table. I mean, so many. Maybe I should go get the big router. We're really testing the Milwaukee battery today. All right, so this is what we're doing right now. So we're putting the five inch by 85 or 86 inch rails on the back of the wall as a nailing plate. So we have a four inch uh, style going across the top or whatever you want to call it. Um, everybody calls it something different. You know, some people call it a running board. So the reason for that is so we can put the um, shelf housings on the uh, storage rack so that the client can place all his different types of um, bread and you know uh, pita rolls and all this other good stuff that goes over here so that's what we're doing right now so come along with us Richie Rich gonna be famous Famous on YouTube. Okay. Uh-oh, what you do, Richie Rich? Oh! Uh! Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, tack that. So, you know, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, all the way down. The total amount of staples Two and a half inch finish nails that we have gone through so far has been 10,200 staples gone. That is a lot of staples. Or finishing nails. I 
think I'm missing the beam every time. Oh, wait a minute. We can't glue the whole thing right now because we don't yet. Yeah, we don't have a. We have no board left at all? No. Nothing, huh? Oh, yeah, you're right. See? Richie's paying attention. I'm talking about my mother. That's what happens, man. Okay. See if I can keep this glue. Oh, 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 booyah. The, it's, the, the clothes are coming back looking like. I, I don't know what they look like anymore. Okay, so you're gonna have to, uh, so give me this. I'm gonna knock one staple in this just to hold it. Oh, mama. You got that? Okay, hold it. Oh, okay, just hold it. Ah, oh, son of a, give me the, give me the cutoff saw. So, I shot a staple through, so the best way I know how to fix it is with a cutoff saw. because we don't have any more. So this is what we have, guys. So we have a, how long is that? 20? 25 feet? So we have 25 feet by 8 feet high, by 17 inches wide, by usable space would be uh, 81 inch usable space. It's a really tall cabinet. Bing, bada boom. So we got that one cut. Install this piece right here. Now we do have a beam on the right side close to the middle. So now we're gonna get this other shelf put in. Alright. 
Okay, so we got this one cut at 14 and 3 quarters by 47. And this is going to slide right in. All right. So what we have is the whole unit, which is right there. Now this one has six shelves in it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, seven shelves with the bottom. store build is 95% complete. All we have to do right now is basically the painting, um, which I'm not a good painter. And I hope you guys subscribe and give us one of those thumbs up. It really helps us out. 